Hey guys, Talem here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple patch file to limit the amount of, well, patches you have clustering up your load order. Because you all know there is a cap limit of the amount of ESPs and ESMs that you can have. So let's try to keep that down, and I'm going to show you how to decide which files you can merge together into a single patch file and which ones you cannot so this is just going to be quick and easy i'm not going to overload you with too much information because i want you to get out there i want you to get your hands dirty and i want you to try and you know that's how you learn is just by getting in there and trying and screwing up is honestly the best way that you can figure out how to eventually do it right because you know that's how i learned by screwing up now what we're going to do is we're going to take three files three different mods and patches and try to see if i can convert them into my patch patch which is right here now what this is this is a file that I've created that integrates all sorts of different patches for mods that I have installed in order to minimize the bloat in my load order. Now, not every patch can be integrated. Note that patches that contain script and other such files, it's really not recommended that you attempt to merge those. But a lot of patches are simply just changes in the ESP file that can be easily integrated into a single ESP. So what we're going to do is in your first step, you need to isolate the patches or the mods that you want to see if you can combine. So what I do is I have down here, I have all these three here that I'm going to see if I can get those into my patch patch file and hence have those out of my load order. I decided to select these three just at random. They are ones I needed to get into my game. So I thought, you know what? Maybe it'd be a good idea to show you guys how to do that. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the location of where these are and you need to make sure that there's no scripts and important things that this particular ESP makes use of. So we're gonna go ahead and go into the longer death cam here. We're gonna look at its contents and as you can see, it has some uh, textures that are empty. This is something that the mod just put in. So this is something that I can actually just delete. There's no point in having that there. Now the optional, that is just a folder made by mod organizer that uh, I will throw this ESP into once I merge it. Now the uh, orator patch here, this is a part of the harvest overhaul. Let's go ahead and find that here. Now, as you can see, this has other files in it, but it doesn't have scripts. It doesn't have anything that this particular ESP is tied to. So you don't need to worry about uh, that not being mergeable. Now the thief skills rebalance here. Let's go ahead and go down to this. This is an uh, add on for Ordinator, let's click that open. As you can see, there is nothing there but an ESP. So that shouldn't be a problem either, perhaps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and open these up and we're gonna take a look at each and every one of these ESPs to see exactly what they contain. Now when you do this, it's better just to select none. What you wanna do is select just the uh, ones you want to look at, as well as your patch file, if it already exists. Now one thing about my patch patch is that this particular file is only for the integration of patches from existing mods. I make no personal modifications in this patch file myself. That is a completely different file that I make at the very end to tie everything together. So we're gonna go ahead and open all this up and let it do its thing. It shouldn't take too long. It really depends on the side of your load order and if your computer is on an SSD or an HDD. Now as you can see all these other files loading up here on the left hand side these are all different mods that have been integrated all their patches have been integrated into my patch patch i do them excuse me i do them one at a time and if i ever get some patches that seem to have conflict it really depends on um the load order of those base mods that i determine which part of that patch i use some of them there are overlap like the sounds of skyrim and elfx just a matter of taking the parts of the lighting that you want to mix with the sound and usually they snap together just fine it's just a matter of experience and troubleshooting so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the longer death cam first let's open it up and as you can see it's just a single game setting an entire esp taken up just for a single game setting see right here basically this means when you die it doesn't instantly start to reload your last save i like it i like the ability to kind of see the ragdoll and my guy flopping around on the slow-mo death effect. And also, in old Skyrim especially, the quick reload after dying had a higher propensity to crash your game. 
In special edition, that may or may not be the case still, but I just like to have this longer just so I can manually decide to reload the game of my choice without having it instantly within five seconds being made for me. So to get rid of this ESP, you just go ahead and go up here, go to copy as override into, or you can do it from this side, it really doesn't matter. And I'm gonna choose my patch patch. Boom, it's gonna stick it right in there. And that's it. Now, when you do that, if it prompts you to add the ESP that you're trying to copy from as a master, don't copy it. That means there's a setting in that ESP that is linking it to that particular patch. And sometimes that will mean that that ESP is not mergeable, even though it looks like it should be. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to troubleshoot to see exactly what is being linked. Now, when it's something like this that is so empty, often the case that you can just manually enter the uh, value here, especially if it's a game setting value. What you would do to that is you would just go to game setting, go to add game setting, and you would have a given ID, and then you would just copy in the variable, which would be the editor ID right there. And it would just manually add it, and everything should be fine. But that is a case-by-case -case basis, but for now we're just gonna stick to this simplistic method that is the case most of the time. All right, so that has the longer death cam copied over, and then we don't even need this file anymore. So when we get out of the game, we can go ahead and pop that up into the optional, and it's out of our load order. Now let's look at the uh, harvesting overhaul or, or the <laughs> ordinator patch, and that just has something here in perks. That's it. And you can go ahead and see here everything that's changed. What you want to do is take a look at everything that is listed here. As you can see, this makes the harvest overhaul and the ordinator completely compatible. So what you need to do at this point is just go ahead to here, go to copy as override into my patch patch. And it's asking me if I want to add the ordinator and the harvest overhaul as masters. And of course, yes, I do. So it goes ahead and do that. And what you need to do then is go over here and go to sort masters because you want those masters all put in the proper order. All right, with that being done, that means this patch is no longer needed. So we can get that an optional. So that's two SPs now out of the way. Now we go to the thief skills rebalance here. And as you can see, it's a whole bunch of game settings, but you have all these values here that are in white. That means these are not present in the game in any fashion as far as the ESPs go. So this could possibly mean that you cannot merge this particular ESP into your patch. One good way to find that out is just like what I said earlier with creating the game setting and seeing if it's possible. So what you would need to do to do that is we're not gonna copy any of these over here just yet. We're just gonna focus on this one right here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna copy this text right here. All right, then we're gonna go down here to my patch patch. We're gonna go to game setting. We're gonna go to add, add GMST. Go ahead and give it this number. It'll automatically pick a number that isn't uh, listed here. Click on okay. And right here, we're gonna go to edit and we're gonna pop in that value, click on okay. It'll do a thing and as you can see, it automatically will copy it from the one up there. Now they have a configurable something in common right there and what you want to do is you just want to drag the setting over and bam it's completely copied and it is now present and accounted for now you would have to do that for every single one of these that are not present because these are game settings these aren't something that the esp is creating itself these are something that is already in the game that the esp is this adjusting see if you went ahead and just copy this and said okay let's copy into override into my patch patch, we're not to there. It'll say, do you want to add the this patch at, or this mod as a master? You know, you don't, you don't, you don't want to. You don't want to do that. So in order to utilize and to get rid of this uh, file altogether, you are going to have to manually add every single one of these into your patch patch. And you're gonna have to uh, decide if uh, that is worth your time. You know, because if your load order isn't very bloated, then you can actually just leave this ESP in there. It's not really a, a necessary one for you to merge. But if you're really pressing that limit, you just have gone all out and crazy. Well, that is how you would get this merged in and out of the way. 
All right, guys. Well, that is just the basics of merging patches into, say, a My Patch Patch ESP file. I hope this was helpful to you. If you have any questions, go ahead and write them down below, and I'll be more than happy to go into more detail or make another video to answer said questions. All right, guys. This is Talem, and I will see you in the next modding video.